Yo, what's up, everybody? So, check out this mess we got out here. Uh, get tired. You guys get tired of looking at my ugly mug, so I kind of figured I'd show you guys a different project we're doing while we're waiting on the uh, K20A head to be done. Um, we started a new one, a new rebuild. This one's probably going to be with all OEM parts. Um, we're going to try to get it up to like uh, 13, 13 compression, 13, five to one or so compression with all OEM parts. I've seen it done on uh, K20A and Honda Forum. So, um, but yeah, this is a K24, A1, yeah, K24, A1. And I got everything, cam caps or uh, oil pan bolts, cam caps, timing chain, rod bolts, bottom half rod bolts, everything is in, in here. That's kind of how you keep everything together. And then uh, I'm going to start cleaning up the rest of this garbage here. Got tools all laying around. That's how you stay unorganized. But luckily, I keep some of this stuff uh keep some of this stuff all over here on the top half so anyway um wanted to show you guys this show you the disassembly i just got it pretty much all taken apart and so i'm putting uh i'm putting cams or i'm putting the how do i say this I'm putting the uh, all this stuff in bags and everything. So give me a minute. Let me get this all cleaned up, and then I'll come back, and I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, everybody. So we're all cleaned up. Yeah, apologize about that. I had just taken all this stuff apart right away. So um, anybody knows, uh, anyone looking for a K24A, one head non VTEC. I'm selling that one probably with K20 valve springs and um, valves. So, if they can find some about K20 cams, you got a VTEC head, sort of. Yes, yeah, because it's the same casting as a K24A2 head, um, better than the K24A4 head and the K24A2 head. It's wider. So it's like a K28 two head. Sorry. Anyway, so we're gonna micro polish the crank. We're gonna have that done. We're not gonna reuse these pistons because I believe these pistons are low compression pistons, which are like nine, nine to one or something like that. Maybe maybe tens. Um, I don't think they're tens though. I think they're nines, nine to seven, nine sevens, something like that. But uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, rod bearing. You can see it's in, it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little bit scarred up here and there. Some of the other ones. I'm not going to reuse it. Just in case you guys think that's why I'm saying this is not that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use them at all. Um, just wanted to see what how badly the motor was uh, wear and tear. And it's not too bad. Uh, it was sitting outside, so one of the cylinders is all locked up. So that's why I took it apart. I'm going to rebuild it, like I said, uh, try to do it all OEM parts, um, 13 to 1 um, compression. And we're also going to, we're not going to K20, we're, we're going to, we have our, we're going to have our K20 A2 oil pump already ready because we're going to put it on our current build, the other uh, K24 um Gonna put it on the K24A A um K24A4 build that we are currently doing or that I'm currently doing. Um 
So I'm going to put the oil pump on that. And uh, not too bad, do you, uh, if I say so myself. Those are rod bearings, and these are the the uh, crank bearings. Not too bad. I'm going to save them because this is going to be my first K24 build. And I really don't know much about doing the K24. So, yeah. We're going to learn. We're going to learn today. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have the crank micro-polished. Doesn't look too bad. Um, we're going to have that micro-polished. We are looking at having our block CSS, um, that's cylinder support systems. It's like uh, better than a block guard. It's like 300 and some dollars to have it done, uh, sent out and done. I know a buddy, he's not my buddy, but I know a guy with a B16. It was uh, fully built and he had it done. He had his done. Um, so these are all the rod bearings main bearings crank bearings i'm sorry and the top halves these are pretty bad so <clears throat> yeah i know a guy who had his uh his block css and uh it came out really nice it came out good it did come out uh came out for pretty 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 nice looking um, I should put that up there. So, yeah, it came out pretty nice looking. We're going to have it CSS. Um, the bottom of it's not too bad. I got to get this one out. Um, I don't know who, uh, who that's the cylinder that's stuck right there and it's all messed up. So I'm going to hot tank it. We're going to clean it all up, get it hot tanked, buff it all up, shine it up, get it all pretty looking again, um, the block. And then we're going to leave it sitting until we get our OEM parts and stuff. We already have the hot tank ready. Well, it's not ready. I got to go. The water's boiling and stuff. But so, uh, yeah, that's uh, for now. So we will be back with that, you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. Uh, we will have a full, complete build on this. We didn't do the teardown because, I mean, teardowns pretty easily. Um, so we will do the complete build on this OEM 13.1. So stay tuned, guys. All right. Have a good one.